We pray for blessings We pray for peace Comfort for family Protection while we sleep Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, so I decided I was going to go ahead and do a 35 week update. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, I have my notes right here as always. So I'm 35 weeks and one day as of today. And the information, <coughs> excuse me, my cough is coming back. So if I'm coughing constantly through this video, I do apologize, but it is coming back. <clears throat> so, um, the app that I do get all my information for from is called the Pregnancy App or the Pregnancy Plus App. So, that's what I use to get all my information and to keep updated with the baby. The baby is about the size of a honeydew. If you don't know what honeydew is, pop one right here. This is a honeydew. As usual, I'm gonna read a little bit about the baby of her development this week, and then I will tell you guys my symptoms for this week. Like I said, the baby is about the size of a honeydew. Your weigh, or your baby weighs about six pounds and will gain, <coughs> and will gain approximately one half of a pound per week from now until birth. The protective fat layer will make up about 15% of your baby's weight at birth. Even though your baby's gums have ridges that look like teeth, the real ones won't make their appearance, an appearance until like about like five months, I think. Um, your baby's cheeks are developing fat. The cheek muscles are also developing. Baby is probably sleeping about 90% of the time. There isn't much room to move around anymore, although you will still be feeling movement. Um, so I do feel lots of movement. That was actually one of the things that I've listed as a symptom. Um, I do feel movement. I feel her kick a lot. Um, a lot of my family members got to feel the baby move this week. I was really happy for them to be able to feel the baby move. They asked if they can try to feel the baby move. And of course I said yes. Um, and that's how it worked out. So I'm really happy that they actually got to see the baby move this weekend or feel the baby move this weekend. So if you are new to my channel, then you probably don't already know. I do have heartburn. I have been getting heartburn for um, since my second trimester, I believe, and I am in my third. <coughs> Obviously, I'm 35 weeks. I'm already nearing the end. Um, but I have been getting heartburn since my second trimester, the beginning of my second trimester, and it has not stopped. And um, if you haven't watched, if you didn't watch my last video, then you don't know that nothing is helping it anymore. Um, Pepsi doesn't help anymore, and my Lanta is not helping anymore as well. <coughs> the doctors do want to prescribe me um, some medication that uh, is stronger, but they don't want to prescribe it because of the type of medication it is. So I am just trying to pull it out and push through it. I've only got like a few weeks left, like a month, and then. <clears throat> it'll go away as soon as I have her. My next symptom is tired. Um, I am feeling super tired lately. Um, I just don't have the energy. I want to take a nap like every day. Um, and then sometimes, like sometimes I'll get a day where I'm just like full of blasted energy. Um, but it also depends on the night I had before because one of my symptoms that I actually have listed on here is insomnia and restless leg syndrome, aka RLS. So if you see me posting on my Instagram, and if you're not, please go ahead and go follow because I update on there pretty often about um, baby and Myself. If you ever see me using the term RLS, that is what I'm talking about. It is 
restless leg syndrome it's basically like I cannot get my legs to relax they just want to move they want to run they want to kick and I've been dealing with this during the day now and mainly at night time so it just really depends on the night before and if I'm gonna be tired the next day obviously and then I am starting to swell now um, it's more consistent that I'm swelling um, mainly at nighttime <coughs> Um, it's not every day, but it is happening mainly at night time. And then my next one is being hungry. I feel like I'm hungry um, most of, mostly all the time. Like I wake up hungry. I wake up in the middle of the night hungry now. But as soon as I start eating, I kind of start to lose my appetite. But I do force myself to eat because I know I need to eat for myself and for the baby. My nesting period has started, so if you didn't watch my last video, it was a day in the life video, and if you didn't, please go ahead and go check it out. So I had my sprinkle this weekend, aka a baby shower, just very smaller, which it was actually still really big. We got so much stuff, and we're so incredibly, incredibly thankful and blessed for everything that we got. Um and it's really it's just made it really exciting and very very real um so because of the baby shower i have started my nesting period i actually started last night we got home yesterday was sunday so sunday night i actually started to organize all my baby clothes for her as far as like size so i like to organize all my clothes per size <clears throat> which I'm pretty sure a lot of parents do have her crib up already or her bassinet slash crib inside of our bedroom and if you guys want me to do like a room tour after I'm done nesting let me know um, I I don't mind comment down below or like this video and let me know if like you would like to see that if that's something you would like to see like how I organized our room to work around the babies both of our kids um <clears throat> but yeah if you if you would like to see that go ahead and let me know like comment down below the size of my stomach i mentioned this in my last uh pregnancy update the size of my stomach is feeling extremely stretched but this time um they're starting to feel more like muscle spasms and my sister-in-law told me that their tendons are, that it's because my tendons are stretching in my stomach. So basically if I hold, if I'm holding Elliot like this and I'm holding him on my side and it pushes my, the baby to my other, to my right side or vice versa, I get like a really bad muscle spasm. This actually just started yesterday. Um... And it hurts really bad. Like I get like a really bad, tight, um, uncomfortable muscle spasm on the side. Um, so like I had mentioned in my last video, I was feeling extremely overstretched on my sides mainly. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as I told you, I am experiencing insomnia and RLS, AKA restless leg syndrome. I'm feeling lots of movement. So yeah, everything is going good. I have a doctor's appointment on February 5th. So that's next week, Tuesday. And I'm really excited because I hope I get to see her. I haven't had an ultrasound done um, in quite a while. So I don't know when was the last time I actually had her. Um, I got to see her. I know I didn't get to see her in December. I like more than positive the last ultrasound I had was in November. Um, but I have got to hear her RB on like a Doppler because that's all we've been doing at the doctor's um, per appointment and I haven't got to actually see like an ultrasound of her. So I'm hoping I get to see an ultrasound of her this next doctor's appointment. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a belly shot now. Okay, so I have Andrew's thermal on, but this is what it looks like with the thermal. It's outside the door, so. <laughs> He's trying to come in. 
And then this is what it looks like without the thermal. This is the front view. And this is the side view. I have lots of room up here now, so like I can actually like push my fingers in and feel underneath my rib cage now. So that's telling me that the baby has actually dropped some. Um, but yeah, so that just means we're getting a little closer to meeting baby girl. So yeah, so that was my 35 week bump date. The app also said, and it did mention for like my body, that um, the baby is going to start dropping if um, the baby hasn't already started dropping and I feel like she definitely is as you can tell in the video that I just showed you of the bump date I feel like the baby is already starting to drop I'm really excited the time is getting closer and um, we as far as the name we are not gonna announce the name until the baby is born if you don't know we also did this with Elliot we have name options but we want to see her and see what she looks like and see which name pleases her the best or suits her the best that is all for today's video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel um, hit the subscription box down at the bottom join our family and we will see you guys all in our next video